Yo, what's up, guys? We are back with another one. We are about to watch Stanley Matthews' best goals and skills, all right? However, before we start, we need to take a look at something that I noticed. All right, so normally whenever I, before I, you know, do a video on someone, I look up, I literally just pull up their Wikipedia just so I have the simple, you know, basic info. And I was just looking, and I was just looking, and then I realized, so he was born in 1915, right? And I was just like, what? 19, let's see, look, you see this? 1965, this dude played, correct me if I'm wrong, that's 50. That's 50 years. And even for international, uh, it says here, United Kingdom. I don't know how it worked back then, but 1965, he was, this dude was getting caps at 50. Well, we'll forget that he was still playing at 50. Like, what? But anyways, here we are with his highlights. So let's see. He literally played in like the 30s, 40s. So um, 50s, right? He played a lot. He played a lot of decades, but a lot of early decades. So we will, yeah, keep that in mind. Look at the football pitch and how muddy it was. How it was like, they didn't even like put any work on that. But yeah, if he played to 50, first of all, he must have been super healthy. And number two, he must have been way better than his peers because, say you're like 28, right? Dude, how you let a 50-year-old outplay you in, in this sport, you know, where you have to be a peak physical condition? Maybe not back then. Uh, yeah, you know, because nobody's playing at 50 now, not at the highest level. Oh, wait, actually, I don't know what level he played at, but I think I saw Stoke City on there, so probably, yeah, you know, he played at a good level for being 50. What the? How do you guys not finish that? Look at his. Oh, the teammates. God. Okay, okay. Yo, the world's slowest, like, kind of like. Well, I don't even know what to call this, but. But I like it. It's like the. The prototype. Usually with these like videos of these uh, uh way older players, there's uh, way less footage, of course, so it's going to be another somewhat short one. I wonder if, like, if you guys know anyone that saw, like, for example, this guy play live, even if it was on TV, let me know. It would have to be, like, <clears throat> your grandparents. Say you're, like, 50. Yeah, it would still have to be like your grandparents probably, or at least your parents if they're really old. Look at them double teaming. Oh, okay, okay. See, doing that in like the forties. He was definitely. It seems like he was more innovative than others, or at least he tried to be. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Oh man, got the stepovers in the 40s. Alright, alright. Did anyone else do stepovers back then? <laughs> With proof? Oh, what? Um, I mean, he's getting by people by doing basically nothing. Like, honestly, he's not really, like, put doing, like, many moves and stuff, but he's getting by. So that's partly, like I said, on the defenders. But, hey, a goal is a goal, as I always say. Yo, the one and only free kick of the video, but, hey, we love to see it. I just watched the free kick from like the 40s. Let's go. Yo, let me know what you guys thought about this. Um, this, you know, this guy basically. Uh, and, and his, uh, yeah, everything you saw in this video. Because I know none of you guys saw him live. All right. Me... It's one of the more or less high videos because obviously they play in like the 40s, right? 30s. There's not a lot going on, but hey, still pretty cool to see though. Make sure you guys subscribe, drop a like. I'll see you in the next one.